Hello, sunshine. I am back. I am energized. We are ready. We have a Timu haul, and I have got everything in this Timu haul. We have got a variety from whatchamajiggits to thingamabobs to whozits. So come on back and join me. sunshine and how are you today i am absolutely wonderful the sun is out not a cloud in the sky and today is a good day god has given us a good day if you're new to my channel welcome welcome come on in sit a spell if you're an existing subscriber thank you so much for coming back you know how much i enjoy you and I enjoy spending time with everyone. Well, today we have a Timu haul. So get yourself something to drink, get a snack, sit on back, come to the table, and let's relax because we are in for a thrill. Today I got thingamabob, who's it, gadgets, gadgets, a little bit of everything. We have a variety from kitchen to bathroom to storage to jewelry to Oh, everything. So, before we start, I want to tell you a little bit about Timu now. Timu is an online marketplace for those of you that aren't familiar with it. They have thousands and thousands of vendors. And these vendors are all in competition. So, therefore, we get to benefit with the best prices available. And if you're new to Timu, I have a link. That will give you 30% off your first purchase. Yes, 30% off your total for your first purchase. And if you're an existing subscriber, you can use my link to get coupons. So, everybody's a win-win. So, please, use my affiliate link. That helps me out. And the link for everything I show you today will be posted in the bottom for the description. Now, remember, with Timu, if you see something you like, go ahead and get it. They have a 90-day return policy, and they are so quick on their returns and refunds. So, everything is easy. You just refund it. Some stuff you have to send back, some stuff you don't. And they send you the shipping label. You just print it. 90% of the stuff I send back is sent by mail, and I just print my label and stick it in my mailbox and put my flag up. So, Timu is a wonderful thing to use. So, we are going to get started. Now, the first thing I want to show you, how many of you have appliances that are sitting on the counter, i.e., i.e., we have a coffee pot. Yes, we have the old-fashioned style coffee pot because that's what we do. We get up in the morning, we make a whole pot of coffee, and between my husband and I, before he goes to work, we drink a whole pot of coffee. <laughs> Love us some coffee. So, when you're pulling it out from the counter to dump the filter and clean it and put the water in it and this and that, you have to slide it on the counter. You know those coffee pots aren't made to slide. Oh, they're not made that way. So, I found on Timu, it's called a handy caddy. Yeah, a handy caddy. So, with this handy caddy, you put your coffee pot, your toaster if it's under the counter, your blender, whatever. Now, let's see. Uh-oh, we have to put it together. I have to slide it. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. Oh, well, that was easy. Okay, that was easy. So, you see, it has wheels. 
These are your stoppers that go on the counter. So your stoppers that go on the counter. So we've got it on the counter. And, aha, we're going to use this little coffee mug. Remember my kitty cat coffee mug I got? This is going to be my coffee pot. So it's sitting on here under the counter. But I want to pull it out. Look, 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 look. Isn't that cool? So I pulled it out from under the counter. Easy access to add water to the pot, clean the filter, put more coffee in, do whatever. It just slides out very easily. So I know my husband's going to love it. Because, yes, my husband makes the coffee in the house. You say, why does your husband make it, not you? Well, everybody knows who's seen my channel, my husband's a truck driver. And let me tell you, truck drivers like strong coffee. So I have to use lots of my creamer, my flavored creamer. <laughs> I do, I do. Because he likes some strong coffee. So he always makes the coffee. So now we've got a little K. So the coffee pot will slide out and make it a little easier for him. This caddy was $10.34. It's very durable, very sturdy. I'm very happy. Very happy. So, tomorrow morning at 1 o'clock, which is when our coffee pot is set to go off. We always set it the night before and turn it off. Remember now, he leaves at 3 a.m., so we have to get up early and, and do our duty. So, now, the next item. Whoops. Whoops, my little coffee thing was so sturdy, it fell over and hit my camera. See, I told you it was sturdy. <laughs> Did I not tell you it was sturdy? All right, now this is just an old-fashioned, simple sifter. Now, I've been doing a lot more homemade bread making and things like that. And I just wanted an old-fashioned sifter. So, I got, for $3.14, durable plastic. It holds, well, this says 250 milliliters, which is two cups. And it's got a nice screen in the bottom. This is plastic. It's not like the old style that I had, the metal ones. Yes, we're showing my age. But it won't rust. Easy to clean. And it's just the spring action, the spring action to sift. $3.14 comes in handy. But when you're making cakes from scratch and you want a light cake, like an angel food cake, or if you're making a jelly roll or a trifle or any kind of bread, you want to sift it. So $3.14 got me a sifter. Now, for those of you that have been following me, you know that I'm on a different diet since I've been taking that Coumadin. So, I've been eating different vegetables. And I'm eating a lot of canned vegetables. I've tried the frozen, but you know, the can is not a bad vegetable for you. But we know the cans are packed in water. A lot of water. So, I got this little strainer. For 80 cent and it just fits right on the top of your can and you can drain the water out of your peas out of your corn and I'm eating a lot of peas and corn and string beans now I put my spices in it to give it some flair but those three are low in vitamin K which when you're on Coumadin you can't have a lot of vitamin K so those are three so just a little strainer just to help drain the liquid out of the vegetable, the canned vegetables, so 80 cent. Really neat little thing. Now, this is really cool because my husband is a smoker. So, in the morning, we will go out because I don't allow him to smoke in my house. No smoking allowed in my house. So, we'll either go out in the garage and put this together go out in the garage or go out on the back deck depending on the weather we go out in the garage with the heater if it's cold and we'll go out in the back deck if it's not too cold 
so we'll have our coffee and he'll have his cigarettes and we'll drink our coffee and whatnot. Well, then we always come in and he'll get on the computer and piddle through Marketplace or eBay or whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm on my phone, usually on Farmland or Fishland. And if you'd like to come join me on Farmland or Fishland, my link's at the bottom under all the descriptions. So come on, join me. So my coffee cup is sitting there on the end table beside my recliner and sometimes it gets a little lukewarm so i found this cute little top dollar and 34 cent it's silicone that's right tight over your cup and look it's got a little kitty they've got kitties and dogs and i think they were cows and other animals too the link's at the bottom you'll be able to pick whatever you want but isn't that cute and it just fits over your top. Let me get this. Take this top off and a spoon. Okay. And it'll keep your coffee warm. Or your tea. Or your hot chocolate. Or whatever you drink in the morning. So I thought that was really nice. So, and like I said, it was a dollar and 34 cents. Plus, it's just so cute and adorable. So, I picked that up. Had to have that. Just had to have it. Now, this next item. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited about this. Now, we have, I'm sure y'all cook and use different oils and vinegars. I use a lot of red wine vinegar and a lot of olive oil. So, I saw this. Oh, my goodness. This thing is packed good. Timo does a good job in packing. I mean, you think where the packages have to come from and come through customs. I mean, they do a really good job of packing. So, oh my goodness, I got enough bubble wrap here to wrap my china cabinet. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not kidding. Okay, we will definitely put this in reserve. So, I saw this little thing, and I said, not only will this be cute sitting on the counter, but this is also going to, oh, it's tight, serve a purpose. Get these out. It will serve a purpose. Look at this. Look at this. Let me put the corpse in. All right, there's one. And there's one. Now. This is an oil and vinegar jar. Now, I don't know, but can you see inside of here is a chamber. In other words, this container is inside. So you can put like your red, red wine vinegar. <laughs> I stung to us to say it three times fast. Your red wine vinegar in here and then put your oil, your olive oil in the larger container. And they will not mix. But think how cute that's going to look on the counter. Isn't that going to be awesome? Isn't that adorable? I absolutely love that. It was $6.92. And this is glass. This is glass. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. So this will be washed and cleaned and filled tonight. And sitting on my counter. So the next time we do a cooking video, be sure to look on my counter and see if you see that. Now, this next one I got for the grandkids. They love deviled eggs. We all love deviled eggs. But I try to get them to eat hard-boiled eggs. Sometimes. You know, toast and some hard-boiled eggs. Well, I saw these little things, and these were $1.59. They're little presses. Now, you see this one? Looks like a bunny rabbit, and this one looks like a teddy bear. Now, what you do is you take this, and you put the hard-boiled egg in here, and then when you press it, it gives the impression of the teddy bear. Or you put the egg in here 
and it gives the impression of the bunny rabbit. I mean, they are so cute. You've got to pull up this ad and look at the description of these. They are so cute. But think about that. You have a toddler, a young child. You want them to eat a hard-boiled egg. They see it in the shape of a bunny rabbit or a teddy bear. And they have other shapes. They, I just picked the bunny rabbit and the teddy bear. But they have these little shapes on their plates. Aren't they going to be just too adorable? I couldn't resist them. I couldn't resist them. I saw these. And I just to make my hard-boiled eggs look like little shapes. They're so cute. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> now this I got from my kitty food bag. This is a duck scoop. A duck scoop. It's a duck. Like a duck. Now, this duck scoop was $2.54. But, it's a double. Double use. And you know I like double use things. This way, you scoop your cat food out, or whatever. Use it for cereal, rice, any kind of grain, any kind of, but I'm going to use it for cat food. You scoop it out, put it in their bowls, whatever. But then, when you finish, you take the top of the bag, you roll it up, and then look. It's got a clamp here. So you can clamp the top of the bag shut. So, you have clamped the top of the bag shut to keep it fresh, and you've got the scoop right on the top of the bag. Is that not cute? I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. So, this is my duck scoop. $2.54 for a duck scoop. I thought that was so cute. Now, these weekends. My husband's off on Sunday and Monday. So when he's off, we relax. And what I do is I make cappuccino. We don't have the put hair on your chest coffee as I call it. <laughs> These are little cappuccino things or hot chocolate, cocoa. What you do is a little... Just put them over your cup, sprinkle cocoa or a little powdered sugar. Now, you do have to stamp these out. This would be a happy face. That's a cup of coffee. I'm trying to hold it where you can see it because I'm not going to take all this. That's a moon and stars. That's a bow. There's a heart. And just put it at the top of your cup and sprinkle some cocoa or sprinkle some cappuccino powder or sprinkle some non-dairy creamer is what I use when I make my cappuccino. It works good. That says love. Can you read that? This is love. Oh, it's so hard to do. There we go. Oh, I got a flower. And two hearts. My tree. And two hearts. And the sun. There's my hello sunshine. And I'm not sure. What do y'all think that is? Oh, a panda bear. Yeah, it's a panda bear. I love you. And I guess just moons. So, just a variety. But the kids love this with cocoa. And you know what I do with these? You make cocoa after Christmas and you have candy canes left over. Crunch up your candy canes in a Ziploc bag. Make them in a real fine powder. Sprinkle them over these. And use these patterns when you sprinkle it over your hot cocoa. Gives it a little peppermint flavor and a cool little look on the pattern. The kids love it on hot cocoa. And those little things were $1.26 for all those. I think it's supposed to be $15 to $20 in there. So, yeah. Yeah. But remember those leftover candy canes or kids' hot chocolate. You can give them a heart or a shape. 
good flavor too. Now these, these are something new. I hadn't seen these before on Timu. You get five of them. There's three here. There's two here. They're peas. Little peas. They look like that little peas in a pod. I'm not sure. I think there's ceramic balls in here. But they're made to put down in bottles and things that you want to clean. That you can't get little sponges or little things into to clean. So you put these in there. Now, you'll notice on the ends here. See, they have a little hole. Uh, there it is. So, you can tie a string to it. I would recommend using dental floss. Dental floss is a wonderful string to use when you're trying to tie something on tight. So, dental floss. But, you can put them in the bottle and just shake them around. And they're sponge. I mean, this is a, a sponge. And with the balls in there. And they'll clean the inside of the bottle. So, that was kind of neat. And those little peas were two twenty four, And you get five of them. So that was a kind of neat little thing. I hadn't seen those before. I hadn't seen those. Those were pretty impressive. Now this, this is just because I usually go to my, I keep a stick of butter. Y'all have seen me haul that black butter dish. And I keep that on my counter with the stick of butter. Well, usually when I'm trying to use butter, like when I use cooked pancakes, I'm putting butter on the griddle. That's just it. Uh, butter. Gotta have butter. Mm, pancakes. Gotta, gotta have the flavor. Gotta have the Christmas. Gotta have me some butter. So I picked this up. This is for butter. I'm gonna figure out how we use it. But you're supposed to be able to use a stick of butter and put a stick of butter in it. Let's see. Does it pop open here? Okay. Alright. Does it push down? Does it screw down? Yeah, it screws down. Okay, it screws down. Hold on, I gotta screw it down. Because it was all the way up. Alright, so you put a stick of butter in it. You put a stick of butter in here. And then, when you're on the griddle, you can just rub this on the griddle and turn this and the butter will stick out 16th of an inch half an inch whatever and melt the butter right on the griddle that way you're not getting too much butter because we don't want too many saturated fats on there but we do want the butter flavor and then just keep the stick of butter in here put the top on stick it back in the fridge for the next time you need to butter a pan and this little butter spreader was two dollars and 44 cent but i like this I like this a lot better than just getting a whole slice because I pre-slice my butter when I put it in my butter dish. So it's got pre-sliced out of there. But I think this is going to help me use less butter. And we know less butter is better for cholesterol. And yes, I have high cholesterol, I was told. <laughs> I'm now on cholesterol medicine. So, hey, I'm just falling apart. But that's okay. <laughs> We're changing the diet, so... Hopefully some good things will happen with changing the diet. I'll shrink some sizes. All right, got some neat storage ideas. All right, this first one. It's for pants. I'm looking at it because this is the first time I've seen it. I just, this is supposed to hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pair of pants. Now, this is a very strong metal coat hanger. You're not going to bend it. I've tried the plastic ones that have the rows. The top up here bends. I've gotten those before, and the top up here bends. This is not going to bend. The weight is not going to bend. What you do is you take your pants, and you fold them, and you clip the bottom cuffs of them to these hooks and then hang them in your closet. But think about this. This can handle the weight. And if you're clipping it from the bottom, it's not gonna take as much room at the top where your clothes go, like this. And this is gonna hold 
10 pair of pants for $4.13. I'm all over that. So I got one, and if it works the way I'm hoping it's going to work, then I'm going to get another one. And that's all I'm going to need. I don't have that many pants. <laughs> so I think this is going to work good on slacks and things like that. I don't know about jeans, but I'll let you know. I'll let you know. But I like this. I like this. I like this for storage. Now, y'all have seen me haul jewelry. And y'all have seen me haul jewelry. And y'all have seen me haul jewelry. And more jewelry. And more jewelry. <laughs> and more jewelry. Y'all know I have a jewelry fetish. That's my secret obsession, jewelry. You want to know where I keep my jewelry? And how I keep my jewelry? This is how I keep it. Let me back up a little bit. This is my jewelry organizer. Right here. You put a coat hanger through here, and I hang it up in my closet. It has 30 different pockets. 30 different pockets. And each pocket will hold a pair of earrings. If it's an earring and necklace combo, I do put the earrings and necklace together. But this is where my earrings go. And my earring and necklace combos. Unless it's a special earring necklace combo, then I put it in a different storage. But this is where I store all my earrings. Look how nice this is. How organized this is. So when I'm going and I have an outfit on, I'm thinking, okay, what earrings do I owe with this outfit? Then I'll just go, and it's so easy to look. You can look at the colors, the styles, and just pick out what you want. So you ask me what I do with all that jewelry I haul. I keep it. I wear it. I, I love my jewelry. And this was $2.11. Well worth it. I had, this is my third one. Yes, I have jewelry waiting for this. Y'all know I haul jewelry. I love jewelry. So I'm excited about this. Now this, oh my goodness. This was so needed. So very, very needed. <laughs> I can redo my ensuite. I can redo my ensuite. This. More storage. This. This. Has your hooks. It goes over the door. There's your two hooks for over the door. They hook in here. And I've got it backwards, so hold the phone. You hook it over the door. You've got compartments. And you notice these compartments are clear, so you can see what's in them. They come with nice lined carpet, carpet, felt lined. So you put them in here. Holds them out. Look at the size of that. Can you see? How wide that is. Look how wide and how big that is. Isn't that nice? Oh my goodness. And you have four of them. One, two, three, four. This is going to get my ensuite organized. I need my ensuite organized. Desperately need it organized. My makeup is going out of proportion. My scrunchies are going out of proportion. And you've seen my hauls. I've tried other things to store them and this and that, but it's just getting too much. So, I got this to help me organize my little bathroom. Because I need to do things in my little bathroom. Because I have some things and some tutorials that I want to show you in my little bathroom. But right now, I can barely get in my little bathroom to put on my makeup myself. <laughs> So this is going to help me. So I'm real excited about this. So I will get this put together and get this on the door either today or tomorrow and get that done. So I'm very excited about that. And that little 
behind the door was $9.99. Yes, it was a little more expensive, but you got to remember, it came with the hard bottom lined, and it has the clear see-through. So you'll be able to see what's in each compartment. That I like. It's not like most of them that you can't see through. This one is a higher quality one, a better one that you can see through. So I'm very, very happy about that. So now the next thing we noticed in the back, we have the spotlights and this and that, but there's a couple um, steps that we've used the lighting for the, the tape, that reflective tape, but we have a couple steps that aren't really showing up at night on the back patio going up to our deck. So I got a couple of these. Now, these are deck lights. They can go on the rails. They can go on the steps. How about me opening them? There we go. They're really nice. They can come in different colors and different lighting, soft light or bright light. They come with screws or the adhesive backing. Okay. They have a little pull tab to start them. They are solar powered, but they're just small you'd clip them on. In other words, if that was your rail, you'd clip them on just like this. And then there's your light. So they'd be clipped on like this. And your solar panel up top. So I'm really excited about these. I did get two of them. They were they were a dollar fifty two cent a piece. I like solar power. I've got the Solar Power watering can, the Solar Power kitty with the butterfly nose. I've got the Solar Power lights back there. I mean, we, we've we got them, but I didn't have these. So now I have two of these. And you will be going out on my deck as soon as it gets a little bit warmer. Hopefully next week. This week it's supposed to rain. Next week. Because I've got some things to show you. I mean, I've just got so much to show you. I know I was sick and out of commission, and that put a damper on our stuff, but we got a lot to catch up. Speaking of catch up, if you haven't seen my nail video, you have to see it. Even, I mean, even if you don't want to see nails, you need to watch it. It's hilarious. My cat got into the action, and it, it, it just, it's hilarious. Need to watch it just for entertainment. It's funny. It's funny. All right, what do we have? All right, this. All right, everybody is talking about that, and I'm going to butcher this. I'm going to butcher this. I'm just warning you now. Let's see. The high, high, hydroloric acid, the moisturizing hydroloric acid. I know I have some that goes under my eyes. That's supposed to help with the dark circles and the wrinkles. Well, this is the hydroloric acid for your lips. Yes, for your lips. Yeah. Okay, so let's check this out. This was a dollar forty-eight. All right. Let's see if we can get into it now. Man, it got it packaged good. That's all I can say. <laughs> there we go. All right. This is for your lips. All right. The link will be below for everything. So let's open this bad boy up. Well, it's a pretty blue. It has a faint smell to it, but you know what it smells like? It smells just like plain old non-generic chapstick. Let's see. Alright. I like the way it comes in a little capsule. Isn't that cute? A little capsule. Oh. 
Wow, my skin must have really been dry. Look at that, it doesn't even shine anymore. Now I can't smell anything on my hand. But it made that spot soft. That spot soft. Got a little shine to it. Can see a little bit of shine to it. A little bit. So this is supposed to be for your lips. Hydrochloric acid moisturizing lip balm. And we know in winter, especially with the wind we've been having. Have y'all been having all that wind? We need all the extra protection we can get. So I'm going to try it out. Now. Oh, yeah. What was I just talking about in the beginning? Coffee? Guess what I found? I found coffee lip balm. <laughs> Told you. With all this wind lately, I've been thinking about lip balm. I have been. This wind is terrible. I don't know if you saw the video when we took the boats out and ran the boats. And that's one thing that I do for fun. We build boats, radio control boats, and take them out and run them. That's one of the hobbies I have. I love my crafts. Got to get back to the dollhouse. But I, I, I like building the boats and taking them out and running them. All right. So, this is the box. Coffee flavored lip balm. So, let's see if it passes the coffee test. We have, uh oh, coconut. So, let's see. Are these have another seal on them? I can't tell. Okay. Yeah, they do have another seal on them. Hold on. Let's get this seal off. The clear seal was shrink wrapped so tight I couldn't see it. I know, I know. I'm going to need glasses, reading glasses soon. But not yet. Not yet. I'm fighting it. <laughs> I'm fighting it. Tooth and nail. We're fighting. I've gone to Audible Books now. <laughs> I have. I've gone to Audible Books. The last two books I read were Audibles. Alright, this is Coconut. Okay. It smells good. I smell coffee, but I don't smell coconut, but I smell coffee. It smells very good. Very good. I like that. All right. Let's get this one open. They're all clear. They're all clear. There's no color in any of these. I don't smell the coconut, but it does smell good. But you do smell the coffee. That's interesting. No coconut. All right, this one is mocha. Ooh, I love me some mocha. Like I said, they're all clear. This one smells like that one. <laughs> this one smells like that one. You smell the coffee. You, I smell coffee, but they smell the same to me. They smell the same to me. Making my little trash pile down here. So y'all know what I do when I finish videos. I clean my trash pile up. This one is... American style? Okay. It smells the same. Alright. So you get three coffee scented lip balms. They do smell like coffee. They smell very good. It's not a strong coffee smell. It's a nice cappuccino smell. Very nice. Clear. Very nice. But they all smell the same. And those coffee lip balms, three of them for $2.09. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Now, spa time. Spa time. Spa time. This... I'm going to open both of them. We're going to do both of them at the same time. Because they're the same thing, but for different parts of your body. Right. 
right. Yep, the same thing, but for different parts of your body. And I'm excited about these. I am, I am, I am. I can't wait to try them. They look so good when I was looking at them on the ad. So, let's see. All right, these are honey. This is Milk Honey Hand Wax. And this is Milk Honey Foot Wax. Now the hand wax here was $2.08. The foot wax here was $1.38. So, I just want to see. It's probably going to be sealed with metal. Seal, full seal. Let's see. Yeah, I'll tell you. Let's bust it open. <laughs> Let's bust it open and see what's in there. Let's bust it open and see what's in there. I just want to see if it has a smell. Well, I busted it open and guess what? It just, it's going to peel back for me. All right, hold on, because I don't want to get messy. Too late. Too late. Got messy. But that's why I have my little tissues right here. So, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put this in this bag so when I go pick up my stuff, it's not. All right. Let's get this off my fingers. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. It's got a, a soapy floral. Doesn't smell like honey, but it's got a soapy floral. But it's thick. It's very thick. Very, very thick. And this you're supposed to put on and let it dry. And it's supposed to dry solid and you're supposed to just be able to peel it off so this is the foot wax that smells good oh now this the hand wax smells like honey oh I could smell this all day long this smells like honey and this is the same thing you're supposed to rub it on let it dry and then just peel it off. So, we're going to try. The ad made it look almost like a paraffin wax. The way they peeled it off. If y'all are familiar with the way the paraffin wax does. So, uh, I'm a little excited about that. I know if y'all saw those socks that I got. That had the minerals and nutritions and everything in them. I wore those things overnight. The next morning I got up. I took them off. My feet were soft as a baby's bottom. But let me tell you, I had dead skin. I did. I had to go get a washcloth and wash my feet from all the dead skin. I mean, the minerals in those socks were. So check out my, was it my last video or the video before when I got those socks. Y'all remember? I mean, the blue ones, the, the mineral socks with all the, they were wonders. My feet were just so soft. And I'm not going to let them get that again. I'm not going to, I'm gonna, not going to walk around barefoot on my deck again. Now, maybe, <laughs> you know I will. I'll just buy some more socks and I'll use my peel. So, all right. Next thing I have, as I told y'all. I'm watching for deals. If they're summer clothes, winter clothes, doesn't matter to me. If it's a deal, it's a deal. That's what I'm all for. All right. This little green dress was $7.99. Look at this. Just a short little dress. Let me stand up, back up a little bit. Got Trixie behind me. Look, just a comfortable little dress. It's just this long. It's not very long. It just comes to my knees. 
and it's so soft. It's polyester. It's slick, but it's not the scuba slick. And just a cute little dress, $7.99. And this is one of those dresses that I've been telling y'all. Y'all can dress it up or dress it down. With that pattern and those colors, you can dress it up or dress it down. So, you can go shopping out with it, or you can put some nice jewelry and some nice shoes and go out to dinner with it. In summer or late spring. $7.99. Now, this is a little nightgown. I like this little nightgown so much, I bought two of them. <laughs> I did. I bought two of them. In two different orders. Not the same order, at least, but I did. I bought in two different orders. This little nightgown was $4.28. And it's real cute. It's got little pineapples on it. And I love pineapples. We know pineapples are a sign of welcome. It's just a little nightgown. And I like my nightgowns big. Because I like to sleep comfortable and baggy. Just a little nightgown. Just a little comfortable. And this is one of those that feels like cotton. It feels like cotton. I mean, this is just a little, little tank nightgown. But for four twenty-eight, I had to jump on it. Like I said, I jumped on it so much I have two now. <laughs> I now have two, so I'm excited about that. I like that. I like that a lot. Now we got a little jewelry. Told you I got a little bit of everything. Now. This first little pin, I have a coat, a new coat that I got, a car coat, and I needed a lapel pin. So I found this one for 84 cent, just a simple little pin. I love Jesus, so I'm just going to put that on the lapel of my jacket. 84 cent, can't go wrong. Now this... Let me ask y'all a question. When y'all been looking on Timu, have y'all been noticing that Timu's got a lot of Disney stuff? I mean, they are really, really starting to have a lot of Disney stuff. I mean, a lot of Disney stuff. Well, I got this little Tinkerbell necklace. Fairy necklace, excuse me. Fairy necklace. For my granddaughter. But, yeah, they are just a lot of Disney stuff. And chain, of course, is tangled all around it. But, yeah, I got, I ordered a Mickey figurine when he's the sorcerer. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right. But, yeah, I don't know if they got a new, one of their vendors has a license with Disney or what. But, yeah. I went on this one vendor's website, and I was just like, oh my goodness gracious. A lot of Disney stuff. But this is just a little Tinkerbell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm about to hold it back for you. Stay. Hold on. There we go. Just a little Tinkerbell necklace. Can you see Tink? Can you see Tinkerbell? It's the gold and the silver, and it's got little crystals going through here. And that little necklace was $4.04. Isn't that cute? So I got that for my granddaughter. You remember we went through all the fairy necklaces. She loves the fairy necklaces. We had to get all the fairy, different fairy necklaces they have on there. Alright. Now... We got pandas. You know how I feel about pandas. And you know how I feel about the pandas leaving the United States. It's better for the pandas, but it's just something that I'll have in my memory banks of being able to see them at the Washington Zoo and something my grandchildren's children won't be able to. Cute little pin. Just to go on a sweater. Look at that. Ah, it stopped shaking. Just a little panda pin. Dollar and four cent, but isn't that just so cute? Nice clip, nice clip, nice size, cute little thing. 
dollar and four cent. I'm telling y'all, if you see panda stuff, you need to get it because it's not going to be around, you know. And like I said, you know, our grandchildren aren't going to see pandas. And our great-grandchildren are only going to see them in books. Trixie has woken up from her nap. I'm telling you, I need to go watch that nail video. <laughs> Cookie knocks the camera over it. <laughs> so funny. All right, this is a little pen. You know, my grandchildren collect pens. So I saw this one. And it was just too adorable not to get. Two little pandas. Little boy and little girl. She's got a little bow on her head. He's so cute. 84 cent. Most of their little pins are 84 cent. And they've got every. I saw a couple new ones I ordered today. I put an order in today. And ordered some new ones. That I hadn't seen before. Thought I pretty much had everything. Alright. Let's get these open. And I'm going to put these on the display board. They didn't come together. But they go together. If that makes sense. <laughs> Y'all have seen how I mix and match and max and mitch and mitch and match and all that good fun stuff. So I'm going to put these on the board so you can see them together. Because they're real cute. But yeah, I just, you know, like I said, the pandas are something to think about. Something to think about getting. I'm just glad they're not extinct. Oh no. Oh no. It's one of those where the chain's not on the pendant. And they've closed the chain. <laughs> and I've got what? <laughs> well, this may be an adventure. Oh, that came off easy. Okay. Alright, let's thread the pendant. Can you do this? Yes, you can. Ta-da. <laughs> can you tell I have grandchildren? Can you tell what shows they watched? <laughs> I'm hopeless, I know. But y'all still love me and put up with me. All right. All right. Let me get this all fixed back here. Look. So it's the set. You have the panda earrings and the matching necklace. Now, the necklace was 89 cent and the earrings were $1.34. But they're just adorable. I think they're adorable. I think my granddaughter's going to like those. I think she's going to like those. And like I said, it's just a piece of history. I'm going to keep the panda, the clip. I'm going to give her the pin. Give one of them the pin. And give the other one the necklace and earrings. But, yeah, I'm going to keep the big clip. Just so I have something, you know, to remember. Now, it's charm bracelet time. Um, charm bracelet time. Now, for those of you that don't remember, I have two charm bracelets. And I think I'm going to have to buy another one to tell you the truth. This is my family one with my charms and spacers. And this is my fun one. And I don't know about y'all, but I think they're full. <laughs> I think they're full. But not all these charms for me. And these are the charms that I still have in my box. So I think it's time to redo the fun one. But this is my family one. This represents my children, my husband, my God, my country. So, all right. Let's go through and look at these. I know these are hard to look through. Let me open my little box so we can put them in we go. Alright. 
this first one, where where are you? Here we go. Like I said, they're starting to have a lot of Disney on Timu, which makes me very happy. All right, this, I'm going to try to hold it where you can see it, is Simba. I loved The Lion King. I took my children to The Lion King when it first came out. And that was a good memory for me. Now that my children are, one's over 40, one will be 40 this year. <laughs> but it's Simba. It's a little Simba. And Simba was, Simba was, Simba was six fifty nine. So I have a Simba. And... Next one. For those of you that watched old movies, whoops, I almost dropped that on the floor. Watched old movies and old TV shows. This one is a heart. And on the heart, it's engraved, and I'm not reading it, but I know what it says because I read it when I blew up the ad. It says, I love you to the moon and back. And it's got a dangly heart. It's engraved on the heart. And this was $3.59. Y'all might be able to zoom in and read it. Well, I got that one. And this one I got as a tribute. This is an angel. wing I got this as a tribute to my dog radar that passed away last Christmas whoops it's just a heart engulfed in angel wings come on zoom in pick it up pick it up there you go and that little angel wing was three dollars and fifty nine cents so that's what that one is. Then I picked up some spacers. These are just a five pack of spacers. And these spacers were only 89 cents. I like to use spacers on some of my charms because some of them are small. And I like to use spacers on the dangly so you can see the dangles between. But these are just crystal spacers. Silver with crystals, just crystal spacers. So I'll put them over here. Like I said, I got five of them. Now this I got for my granddaughter's bracelet. Do you remember the one she got for Christmas? Was full of Star Wars. She loves Star Wars. Well, I found the new Star Wars. Remember, she got Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Millennium Falcon, Hans and Leia. Well, come on, you can open. I know you can. Well, I found, did I say Baby Yoda? She got Baby Yoda. So, I found this one. And I could spend all day going through their charms. Oh my gosh. I found this one. And I know she's going to be so excited. This is Master Yoda. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You see that's two. It's got the hollow front with Yoda. With the green on the back. Let me just do. Zoom in. There you go. Look at that. Master Yoda. Now she is going to... This one was $6.59. She is going to love this one. So, I'm very happy about this one. It's got something written on the back. It says, do or do not. Do or do not. And then they had this one marked down for 99 cents. 
just a little train. Ugh. They double bag them. They double bag them for security. Just a little train. And the kids always, we always took train rides when they were little. So, what I'm going to have to do is get me another charm bracelet with my charms and dilly-dally these up and come up with another bracelet. I guess one just children's memories and... I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Now, this next... This next one is very special. I had this made for my sister. And I've been waiting it and waiting and waiting for it to come in. And it's taken forever. My sister is a Hebrew Israelite. And I'm not sure how this goes. So I'm hope I'm putting it on the right way. It's got a beautiful silver chain. And I, they have a, a page on there where you can get your name in Hebrew. Yeah, yeah. Get your name so all those, those Jewish people, you can get your name in Hebrew. All those Hebrew Israelites, you can get your name in Hebrew. So, I had her name done in Hebrew. So that is her name. Oh, look at the shine on that sucker. I'm telling you. It's silver. It's nice. Woo-hoo-hoo. Tote it down a little bit. Try and get a good angle. That is her name in Hebrew. Ancient Hebrew. A language over 2,000. 24 years old. Because we're in 2024. It's over that. So. That is something that is very special. So I'm very excited about that. And I can't wait to mail it to her. But they have all kinds of personalization things on Timu now. I mean, the new vendors are just blowing it out of the water. Blowing it out of the water with their stuff. I mean, the Disney stuff, the Hello Kitty stuff, the personalization things. I mean, it, it's just wonderful. The selection they're giving us is fantastic. So, if you're new to TMIP, go to my affiliate link, click on it, and get yourself a 30% discount on your first order. If you're an existing member, go click on, get yourself some coupons. And remember, join me with Farmland and Fishland. But, what's the most important thing? Have a blessed day. And remember, Genesis thirty-one forty-nine. The Lord watch between me and thee when we are absent from one another. <laughs>